Hey creatures! Today I thought I would bring you a really interesting close-up look at one of the snakes I rarely show. This is one of my rhino rat snakes. Their natural range is Asia and they can be found in Vietnam and many parts of China. I began shooting this video as a personal project to help me better my camera work and then I realized that no other high quality footage of rhino rat snakes eating exists. So I want to share this footage of a really beautiful species of snake eating its food. All of my snakes eat frozen thawed food so you won't be seeing any animals suffer in this video but still if this video could be upsetting or triggering in any way please exit now, have a good day and then come back in the future for another video. Ready? Let's go! The rhino rat snake gets its name from the horn-looking point on its nose. This horn is not actually a true horn as it's not made of keratin. It's actually a flexible, fleshy appendage which herpetologists still argue about because nobody knows for sure why this snake has evolved in this way. Here we can see our rhino rat snake sitting still and tasting the air with her forked tongue. She's smelling and detecting heat, movement and moisture all at once. But she won't strike, at least not yet. This species is incredibly visual and she likes to see movement before she strikes. Using a pair of tongs, I lift the mouse up to get our snake's interest and this triggers a strong feeding response. Again, this mouse is not alive. The body of a rhino rat snake is very long, slender and whip-like. Along with her colour, her body shape also helps her to camouflage among the rich Asian foliage and the vines. Next, our snake has to let go of its prey in order to find the head of the mouse. Swallowing prey head first naturally streamlines its food. Some snakes do eat from the base of the tail first, but this is tricky for most snakes and it wastes a lot of energy, so most snakes make the effort to find the head of their prey first. As our snake begins to swallow her prey whole, we can see the amazing way which she stretches her flexible jaw muscles to accommodate the mouse. Snakes don't chew or tear their food, so instead they've adapted not to have a fused jawbone or chin. Instead, the upper and lower jaws move independently of each other. This is commonly misinterpreted as the snake dislocating its jaws. This is incorrect. Snakes have no fused jaw points to act actually disconnect. As you can imagine, swallowing food which is larger than the size of your head is very difficult without chewing or utilizing other limbs, like hands. Instead, the snake uses its own teeth to help it to swallow. The teeth of a snake point backwards and as the snake swallows, it maneuvers its jaws forward and back, side to side and literally walks the food to the back of its throat. Those of you with a sharp eye will notice that this species of snake has an extra long tooth at the back of its upper jaws. It uses these to stab into the food as an extra grip. You may hear some snakes referred to as rear fanged venomous, such as the hognose snake, the argentine longnose or the boomslang. Although the rhino rat snake has teeth at the back of its jaws, the teeth are not fangs as they don't deliver venom. Fangs are hollow in order to allow venom to be injected through them. What non-venomous snakes have are just teeth, hence the rhino rat has no fangs and is not a rear fanged animal. In mammals this is different as the term fang can be given to extra long teeth, so wolves certainly have fangs, but with snakes, only venomous snakes are referred to as having fangs. 
Swallowing for a snake is a full body affair. The muscles and ribs of a snake work together to squash, pull, and push its prey down the snake's body and into its stomach for digestion, which for this snake will not take long as they have a relatively fast metabolism, unlike other snakes like blood pythons which have a much, much slower metabolism. Now that the snake has swallowed its food, it will find a safe, high up place to digest and it will enter a period of relative inactivity until it's hungry again and ready to hunt. And that is it for today! I hope you all learned something new from today's video. Leave a comment below to let me know if you did learn something new or if you have any other snaky facts, questions or stories to share. Thank you all so much for watching, I will see you in another video soon.